You can't have a fast movie without a selection of the world's sickest automobiles. Rather it's Dom's latest and greatest Charger, my flashy Lambo, or Letty's Corvette. Each character showcases our own style on the streets. Let's roll. We have some of the newest, fastest, most technologically advanced vehicles on planet Earth. We had cars coming from California. We had cars coming from New York, Florida. Dennis went out to the best car owners in the country, and everybody loves to show off their cars, especially collectors. Trying to top the last movie is always the biggest challenge in this franchise, but I feel that we pulled it off. There's far more many hero cars. It's like double the last movie. It really is. I mean, because each sequence has more characters and more action. Fast 8, you're going to see a car like you've never seen before. Above and beyond looks, capabilities, powertrain, without a doubt, be the best Fast and Furious Charger ever. I'm blessed to be associated with Dodge and the most iconic car in history. The audience has its own relationship to Dodge. I think that's a testament to the way that the car has been incorporated and thought about from a story perspective throughout the saga. In this installment, we reveal some really cool Dodge cars. This time around, we got the Tantrum Charger. I mean, it's over the top and then some. It's uh, really just an extension of his character. Primarily, the car is made out of carbon fiber. Just unbelievable workmanship and it has you know, 2,000 horsepower, it has a Merc Cruiser motor and a twin turbo charge. And then it's driving up 71 GTX, so it's really the next body style of the GTX that he had in seven. To me, it said Dom all over because you can put a gigantic rear tire, it has huge rear wheel wells in it, so we were able to put a tire that was, I think, 16 inches wide on a 20-inch wheel, and that is really a key element because of what he's doing in this sequence. You know, he's dragging these cars. It had to be a lot of rubber on the ground to sell that. Having this Dodge Demon is just such an asset to the film. I gotta give credit to the Universal team and the Dodge security team that they've been able to keep this under wraps. I mean, that's just incredible. Very limited edition of these cars. I think it's the fastest street car ever made. This is a car that's gonna produce over 800 horsepower. It's basically ready for the drag strip. You get it from the dealer, and you could literally drive to the drag strip, you open the trunk, there's two skinny, lightweight, you know, front drag tires. The car comes with sticky drag radials in the back. You feel the car will be capable of sub 10 second times in the quarter mile. It's gonna be that fast. Quite a bit goes into converting them over to the Demon. Brake upgrades, suspension upgrades, wheels, tires, body modifications, interior dash. The car will be released right at the release of the film. What a perfect joint venture. I think Dodge really stepped up on Fast 8. They have been wonderful and they have been very supportive, but the bar was set high. The great thing is going into it with people that all believe they can achieve that next level. The horsepower, the quality level, I mean, it's just unbelievable workmanship. I mean, obviously the Charger always comes back, but I want to mix it up a little bit. We got the Ice Charger. It's pretty wild, blasting through the snow. Dom's ice charger is pretty spectacular. I think it delivers everything you've grown to be accustomed to in a Fast and Furious film. To build an all-wheel drive road car from scratch was really exciting. It's definitely one of a kind. You always feel like you've encountered every type of a picture car challenge over the decade of doing this franchise, but Iceland definitely brought about some new ones. When we learned that we're gonna be on the ice, all-wheel drive was a definite necessity. I just love the concept of seeing all four tires spinning, the snow blowing off each wheel. That's something different. That's something that we've never done. 500 plus horsepower. When I say all-wheel drive, I mean, it's a locker in the back, a locker in the front, transfer cases locked solid. I mean, it's all four tires are spinning. The car is capable of 130 miles an hour. Brad Kelly, our tire guy, spent literally months researching uh, tire studying, tire grooving, tire cables, tire chains. We have Tires that are studded differently for different portions of its sequence. The balance of the car is achieved by, you know, basically the motor sits where the passenger would sit. The transfer case is behind the driver. I don't think you could ask for a more extreme environment to have a car work in. Block heater, heater and defroster for the stunt driver. Insulation. This particular car is for jumping. There's a sequence where the car comes flying through the air and it lands on the ice. A lot of impacts, you know, you name it. 
you can tell by the uh, trophy truck style, you know, box lower control arms, tubular upper arms, you know, the massive uh, uniball ball joint. This car has about 18 inches of travel in the front and about 22 inches of travel in the back. If you just want to see what goes into the uh, suspension of a jump car, you know, that's pure off-road race truck right there. Nothing, of course, is off the shelf. Everything's built from scratch, everything's machined. I love building those cars where there's no limit. Probably the most labor-intensive car we've ever built. When Gary came on, he was great. He loved what we were building. Uh, he had some, some visions of his own. I love the ideas that he uh, contributed. You know, one of them being Letty's Corvette. My favorite car in the movie is the 1966 Corvette. He goes, man, I love this car. I said, you know what, you're right, Gary. That thing is great. But it's a very expensive car. We went on a little spending spree. We bought some Corvettes. This is Letty's Corvette. This is an amazing car. It's a true race car. Uh, it's a wide body car, handmade, flared fenders, manual transmission, 600 horsepower, massive wheels, massive brakes. I put aftermarket black okay. rims on it, low profile tires, painted it fire engine red, and it feels kind of current, even though it's a vintage vehicle. Modified them, took molds off of Brian's car for the fenders, uh, got the paint coat from him, the suspension modifications, and replicated what he actually races on the track. It's a true performance car. This car was so perfect that we're actually making molds of the quarter panels, front fenders, so we can create our own parts to modify our own vents. We have Roman's car, the Bentley. We look at it, it just says Roman all over it. And that's what he'll be driving in the second act. It's a Bentley GT twin turbo. It has a two-tone paint job, pearl white and the maroon. Perfect for his character. And like I said, I think it fits his taste as well. Big sexy coming through. Didn't have to do that many modifications, you know, some computers and disabling of things. Didn't have to transplant the motors. We just kind of left them as is. We made the air ride suspension basically a manual system where we could inflate or deflate or adjust ride heights for you know, they're going over curves, up all sorts of things. No, 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 no! This is my Bentley! Ow! No! No! Ah! 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 The biggest surprise to everybody in Iceland was the fact that we brought three running Lamborghinis to Iceland and we returned with three running Lamborghinis. Why are they shooting at me? I don't know, maybe because you're in an orange Lamborghini. Shut up, Cash! The writers and the director just felt that Roma should have a car that is just really out of place. Just the wrong car for the environment. No, 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 no! This is not good! No! What's the matter, Roman? You loving that Lambo now? The Lamborghini seemed to be a good one because the Lamborghini actually is all-wheel drive. It pulled through. The cars that you see driving on the ice, they're actual Lamborghinis. Everyone always says, is that a kit car, you know? But no, they're, they're real Lamborghinis. The ice isn't flat, you know, there's literally four inch, five inch, six inch gaps. It's like hitting curbs out there, you know, the ice constantly shifts, it fractures. You know, once again, I can't say enough about that car because it's astonishing the amount of abuse that it went through. It got to the point where we couldn't actually find any more front spoilers for the car, so we had to make a mold and build our own so we could constantly put a new nose on the car. Yeah, Tyrese loved that car. Letty picked a rally fighter, which is a car built in the USA that's made for kind of off-road rally racing. It's pretty much ready to go. You know, it's already an off-road car. It's extremely durable. The only thing it was lacking was all-wheel drive. We basically bought four rally fighters. We converted two of them to all-wheel drive. Posi, locker in the back, throw a set of studded tires on it, and it was good to go. There's a lot of jumps, a lot of impacts. They were right at home in the environment we were in. We definitely put it through its paces and really had zero failures. big movie, it's an exciting movie. There's a lot of things happening. In this installment, we put Hobbs in a one-ton Dodge crew cab long bed. Oh, where are you going? Oh, this is crazy! This is a moment where audiences are gonna go crazy because they're having fun. To outfit this for the snow and the ice, we actually equipped that with mat tracks, which is basically four individual tracks instead of having four wheels on it. It gave the, the vehicle this presence because once you bolt the Matrax on it, you know, it goes from being a seven foot wide vehicle to a 10 and a half foot wide vehicle. Military box, the bumpers, we put flared fenders. They were Cummins diesels, manual six speed transmission. Once again, one of those vehicles that saved us a lot of time because the modifications were fairly easy. It's a factory Dodge Ram and we bolted on the Matrax, beefed up the suspension, special effects built a 
pretty impressive plow that's on the front. It can actually flip over and go to the back. Wow. I know that uh, Dwayne loved it. Woo. It says Hobbs all over it. It's a wrap, 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 wrap. <laughs>